Hey YouTube, Big here. All right, out again, which is great. In our local reserve, but this time I've gone to an area where we haven't been whew, for a couple of years now. Um, let's see what the uh, little ferns grow there, growing everywhere. It's a little bit slightly tropical in this section here. So, the boy with me, he's got his new knife, which I'll show you later on, for his birthday, an early birthday present, slash for doing well in soccer, football, whatever you want to call it. Pretty good knife, nice full tang, cost me 60 bucks, so, for an eight-year-old, that's pretty good, I, I reckon. Is it oh, I got it for sixty. So, yeah, just enjoying. Twenty past four. Sun's going down. It get dark about five thirty. So, we might head back home when it's slightly dark. I've got my torches anyway, so we'll be all right. And uh, <clears throat> just got a, a new axe, a hatchet I bought, which I want to show you guys and uh, yeah, and hopefully give it a test if I can find some decent wood to uh, test it on. And you'll be surprised what axe I bought or hatchet, but uh, I'm surprised myself that I bought one. But you know what? It's actually pretty All right, good. So we come so. across this paperback tree. This is probably, in my eyes, the world's best fire starting tinder material you can ever get. Mm. It is great stuff and lights up just automatically. And uh, what I'll do is, here's the boy's knife. There you go, boy. That's it. Watch yourself. Don't cut yourself. But great tree, and uh, you gotta watch sometime when you um when you grab this and, and peel it off because sometimes you can that comes straight off. I that's why I grabbed it with my knife. You're like big piece. Sometimes you grab it and you got what's your knife, mate? And you got like a big nasty spider underneath, but um. I'll use this and we'll uh, light a Going fire with the trail it. a bit. Oh, jeez. Going up an incline. Gotta stop smoking. Go for this cliff face. Cool. Nice, uh, decently um, flat surface here. That's good. Up here. It's excellent actually, away from the main trail, because there are quite a few hikers today. I think people use this wall for rock climbing. So, uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. All right, we collected some paint bark, so um, we're going to uh, light it up and show you how easy it is to spark it up. Right, so this is the boy's new knife I gave him. Originally 75 bucks, got it for 60. Full tank construction. Uh, I don't know how thick it is, maybe 3 sixteenths, I'm not too sure. Um, length is about three and something inches. 
Um, hold that in your hand, mate. Show, show the screen, yep, so good size, my boy's hand, he's got big hands like me, what does that mean? <laughs> um, it's a Max Hunter by Pro Tactical, so I mean, you know, not the best knife around, around but you know, a decent knife for an eight year old kid, so, so yeah, and it's, it's sharp as, it's hair shaven sharp, so. Um, I was going to get him a folder. He had a folder but lost it. <laughs> but um, now he's got a full tang, which I think is a little bit safer for a kid as long as they know what they're doing. He's been mucking around with knives since he was five because I've introduced it to him. But uh, he's pretty safe with knives, so um, not that I'll ever let him play with it by himself. I'm always there supervising, but you know, he's always doing All right. that. Since we've found our little new hideout which oh it's a nice air actually it's uh we're nice and high we've got uh a scenery there which is houses i wish it wasn't but it is but uh <clears throat> gone out taken the 511 brush tour bag this is now formerly my day hike bag i just purchased the rush 24 bag which is now my form my formerly which is now my overnight bag so dedicated to little day trips but uh what i bought the other day <coughs> which i got stuff that i'll buy it is the gerber bear grills hatchet and uh i was looking at it and i'm going ah, should i i bought it and to my surprise it is actually a very 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 good little hatchet not too heavy but got some decent weight for chopping sharp as it came hair shaving sharp from the store um, full tang um, you can see the the tang right there obviously the rubberized grip and firstly I'm not a big Gerber fan um, I love Bear Grylls don't get me wrong but I just don't like Gerber products um, I've had, I've bought the, you know, the original Bear Grylls Gerber knife, piece of shit, if I can say. Uh, the new version, I've seen it, uh, my, one of my friends has it, it looks pretty good. Um, so the new uh, updated version seems okay. But this hatchet is pretty good. Um, it's thin, so, you know, you're not going to be splitting big chunks of wood, but I'm keen to test this and see how it goes batoning and stuff like that around me i don't really have the right wood around to to test all those but um i will test chopping on one of these roots and uh we'll see how it performs but um it's great i mean i like it um you've got these finger grooves here so you can really grab up onto it and at home i was feather sticking with it which it can do um so let's just give it a little bit all right of so i've got this uh this root here, so um, let's see how it goes. Move back, boy, just in case. Thank you. Put it back there. Pretty good. That's about an inch and a bit. Maybe two straight through that. It's not a bad, not a bad hatchet at all, to be honest. Yeah, nice kind of little hammer thing there. Pretty thin though, but um, yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Don't mind that. Absolutely hate when I see beautiful rock formations where it could be a uh, a beautiful natural shelter, cave systems, and people graffiti on it. it really gets to me, man. What do you do, man? 
What do you do? Look at that tree. Look how it's grown. Yep. Uh, little frog tadpoles in there, I think. Or well, maybe there's a big, big, big python in there. Alright, so definitely like this side of my um, local reserve than the other. Number one, there's less mosquitoes. <clears throat> Number two, it's more, more of a tropical kind of uh, area, and it's amazing. 500 meters that way or a kilometer it's just a total different you know um, bush you know different just different outlay different setting just everything's totally different here you know more more cliffs more ferns um, heaps more little kind of private areas to kind of hang out and you know even set up camp, I found a really good area Whoa, where we could potentially uh, do a stealth camp so uh, yeah, I'm digging this side totally even if we do some rock climbing that's a good 5-6 meters wish people do do rock climbing here practicing their, uh, their skills if you look closely I'm not you can see in this camera but you can see the, uh, the bolts All right, so this is the paper bark I grabbed before very easy to process just use your hands scrunch up grab your fire steel ferro rod whatever you want to call it and away it goes I reckon one of the best tinders in Australia, if not the world. <laughs>